I clean. I knocked him right dead in the center of the face, bro. Mm. And he knocked out straight backwards, bro. He dead ass. He went like. And nice, to, nice to meet both of y'all. Yeah, yeah, good to meet you. Oh uh, yeah. Thank you for coming on, Eddie. Of course, I've been wanting to do it for a while. Um, what's it called? No, yeah, I just I've been so so busy. Like I had a I, I had a normal job for a while, so that's why I was always like drained and stuff. What was your last job? Uh, I was doing like electrical work and shit, but uh, I quit because like this like pipe blew up on me or whatever, and what? I was like, fucking with it. Or wait, wait, am I allowed to cuss or no? Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, yeah. So I wasn't fucking with it, and um, it was just not like worth what it was doing, and now I'm earning way better, so it's straight. A pipe busted on your hand, you said? Yeah, so basically it was like this. So you have to like shoot this jet line that you use to pull the wire, which is like electrical, the electrical part. And it kind of like, I was holding it and I don't know why. It was like the compressing air. It was so like strong that it like burnt through my skin. I don't know. It was, it was way worse. Like all this was like bloody and shit like down here. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah, it hit my eyes, which is the worst part. Man, <laughs> I couldn't see for like a day. Oh, yeah, that's wild. What are you doing now? Uh, OnlyFans. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. We got we got a few friends that do that. Yeah, I hopped on. Uh, Luigi. Helped oh me. wait, Luigi. Yeah, yeah. He's the. One. Yeah, I know you know because I've seen you on his uh story. Do you remember your first ever TikTok? Ah, uh, it was super bad. It was super cringy. <laughs> I was sitting, I was actually sitting at the same desk, but like over there in my room. And damn, I was so young, dude. I was like a little kid. I don't remember it. Let me guess. Let me, you know the answer? This is my age. This is my height. This is my favorite color. This is my sign. This is my inspiration. This is my favorite candy. And my same color taken. This will my favorite brands be. <laughs> that's so cringy to look at bro <laughs> no he you was had 15 in that did it say 15 I, I was 15 or 16 one of the two i think when i saw 15 that's I think, crazy I, I think i had to i don't even think that's my first video i think i deleted the ones before it because it was so bad so bad <laughs> yeah, and yeah. i definitely had experience in that one there's no way that was your first one no but like i that video is specifically um that's like me and all my friends are making that just because it was doing good. Yeah. yeah, I'm figuring out how to do videos and pictures and stuff now. I got the, <laughs> I got this one off of Instagram. I had to ask like, what the heck's that about? <laughs> no, that was Halloween. <laughs> oh, Halloween? Okay. interesting story. I don't know if you, I don't think you saw my story, but um, that same week, like I had got that for Halloween, but I took that picture a few days ago when I got it. The few days before I got it. Hmm. And um, basically, I I got it for this Halloween party, and at that Halloween party, my car was stolen and crashed, and that was a whole thing, whole so thing. Yeah, you start your car stolen and crashed it by my homeboy. That's dumb now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Wait, no. by your own friend? Yeah, bro. So basically, I'll start like. At, in the middle of the night. So it was like, it, let's say it was like 12-ish. We were going from one party to another, like mm-hmm. to my friend's party. So I was going to crash there. And I had I had him with me. I'm not going to name any na- names. I'll just name him Tyler for now. Okay. And, um, and he was like, Tyler was like, yo, there's this girl. At the, she's at the gas station with her friends. Let's go pick her up. She's a baddie, right? So I'm like, all right, bet. I'm going to do him a solid. I'm a good friend. So we drive over to the gas station. Um, I, I look at the girl and I'm not trying to be mean, but she wasn't the prettiest girl. All right. So we pick her up. It's her, Tyler and three of my other friends. Okay. And And Tyler's the one who did it, right? Yeah. I'm not going to give the other ones names, like give them fake names because I'm going to get confused. But yeah. Yeah. (laughs) yeah. So basically there's, there's five, there's five of us guys and one girl. But it's not like that. We're just taking her to the party so he can do whatever he wants to do, you know? Yeah. And so we get to the party. And um, 
we all get out the car. I had to park like a street down so uh, like no one ran like would hit my car or anything. Yeah. So we walked to the party and um like I fell asleep like instantly, bro. I was knocked. Like after an hour I fell asleep. And so I when I had woke up in the morning, people were they were telling me that they kicked out Tyler and this bitch or this girl, my bad. You can cut that out. I don't know. <laughs> All right, but yeah. So um they had told me that they kicked him out and and then I was like, Oh, okay. So then I was like, I want some McDonald's. So I go to I go look for my keys. I'm like, Where are my keys? But I also didn't know where my phone was. So then I was like, All right, maybe it's right next to my phone. So then I found yeah. my phone no keys so i'm like shit so i go outside to where my car is it's gone i'm like oh my like, damn i have all the videos and everything too I, it's so funny i'll literally send them to you after it's yeah yeah you gotta send them to it's, us. it's a whole story time bro i was in the monkey costume and everything that's what I like, popped <laughs> no it way the monkey costume yeah. meaning behind it bro like that's i literally have it in my closet and i haven't put it on since bro but so what? So, yeah, I, I go to my car. I can't find it. I'm calling. I'm calling. And I'm like, yo, Tyler, 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 where are you at? Where are you at? And yeah. Then, and then no one picks up. My friend calls him because he saw my story. This girl, the girl picks up, right? And she's like, um, she's like, I don't know where we're at. Tyler's passed out. I don't know what we're doing. And then I call back because I was like, all right, maybe she'll pick up to me this time. And um, my bad. Twitter's going off. All right. So, and then, um, she picks up, I'm like, I'm like, yo, here, this is my number three, three, six, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then, um, she sends me her location. Um, and then me and me and like three of my friends go like tall ass, like shysty mask guy coming with us and everything. Like, this man. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. And then, but yeah, like three of my friends come with me and we dude, they, they got a minute away. They got, they went like 40 minutes out. Like I was like I don't know how how they got that far like intoxicated. What? Yeah, bro. I don't know how they didn't die. If anything, all right. But okay, yeah. So. so then we get to my car, and no. So we're going there, and then my friend Phoenix, she's like, she's like, yo, what? What if we just get to your car and it's completely totaled? And I'm like, I'm like, bro. Honestly, as long as it's not crashed, I don't give a fuck. Like, like yeah, they stole my car. I don't care. Just give me my car. You know. And then um, we get, like, we turn the, into the road. Like, it was weird, bro. It was, like, some warehouse or, like, they were in, like, some, like, the outside of a warehouse or auto part shit. Like, so sketch. So then we get there. And um, I'm, like, my, like, heart drops. I'm, like, I'm, like, bro. And in my head, I was, like, I was, like, fuck. So then we park right behind my car, dude. The whole side of the car was indented. Like, I don't even know how the, I don't even know how they did that, like. Like imagine this the car. It was like this. Like like it the was whole bent in. Yes, bro. The whole like left door, left passenger door or whatever. It was bad. And where were they? They were in the car. That's the that's the crazy <laughs> part. The girl was in there like damn near naked. She was only in like this button up shirt. That was her costume and her underwear. Everything else was off. And you know where he was, bro? In the back laying down. In the passenger seat, slumped out with a Malibu bottle right in between his legs. Yes, what bro. in the world, bro? So I I open the door. I start like talking my shit to her because yeah, I was mad, and I was like, "What the what the fuck is wrong with you?" I was like, "Blah blah blah, this that this," and then she gets out like stumbling and stuff, and she's like, "I'm gonna get my brother to beat your ass," and I'm like, "Bro, you just stole my car, like." Like, you stole my car, you drove it off, and crashed it. Yeah. And, he's not. And, he's going to be like, you're the one who's dumb for doing yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But long story short, um, oh, well, yeah, I'm missing a few details. But he got out the car, like, wobbling with the bottle, still drinking it, bro. Like, I have it on video. What? And it. In his bro. head, he probably thought we were hyping him up or some shit. Like, you know? Like, yeah. And then, yeah, <laughs> she get her she's dumb because first of all i would have never sent me the location like ever like she should have just got out of there without me knowing you know mm. and um but yeah we saw her get picked up by her brother and then tyler he's just sitting there he's like like slowly getting into it. everyone's like beat his ass 
beat his ass, Eddie. Go crazy. Beat his ass. I'm like, I'm like, nah, bro. I'm just going to let, like, the lawyers do what they got to do. And to this, actually, just recently, the um case got closed. But, yeah. I'm Long assuming time. y'all aren't friends anymore. No, yeah. Nah, nah, yeah. <laughs> but, nah, but yeah, long story short. Um, That's wild. Yeah, long story short. Um, was he not sorry? What? He wasn't sorry? Oh, yeah, he was He was sorry. He talked to me, like, when he was sober, like, weeks after. So, like, I don't hate him, but we're, we're, we're like, I don't talk to him, you know? He didn't, He also didn't drive, though. It was clearly, it was the girl, like, if I'm being honest, but. Like, a real friend would have stopped her, you know? Yeah, I'd been like, no, we're not about to take his car, like. Yeah, what the fuck? I would never let someone take my friend's car. What the fuck? No, that's wrong. That's so wrong. All right, but, yeah, long story short, she didn't get in trouble at all. Because, oh, bro, she tried saying we raped her, or we, like, tried touching her. And that's where, I, like, my I took a hit. I was like, bro, like, are you serious? You're going to accuse us of touching you. Like, like we didn't want you in the car, first of all. We saw you from, like, from down the – whenever we were pulling into the gas station, we were like, there's no way you're getting this girl in the car. That, that was our first initial reaction, and it's just crazy. Girls yeah. get everything, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. She accused us of, of whatever. Didn't go through because she got DNA tests, all this, like, private investigators. Oh, dang, for real? No one touched her. No one touched her except him. Like, it takes some nerve to steal somebody's car and then try to accuse them of something, too. That's what I'm saying. And, yeah, neither of us won. Like, I didn't I didn't get to sue her or whatever. I didn't get any money out of her. Mm-hmm. Weirdly enough, I got money out of him. Probably because he's a guy. <laughs> I don't know. But, like, yeah, so, yeah. And then with that, I got my new car. And, yeah. So, I know that you said you do OnlyFans, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. What are you going to ask? What the weirdest thing I, I've done is? No, no. I'm not going to ask. That's the All right, good. I was not about to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, but what's up? I was going to ask Dio. Parents know. And what yeah. did they think about it? They're so, like, behind me with it. It's weird. Like, they approve of it? Like, they're... Yeah. They see, they see that it makes me happy, and it honestly makes them happy, too, because I'm sending them, like, a good bit of money. Like, more oh, than... Oh, okay, I'm okay. Happy. Yeah. So yeah. So about how much do you make with only <laughs> with only brands? Uh, I don't. I don't want to be like. I don't want to be too specific. I would. I want to say it's too crazy, but definitely a lot more than I made at my job. Yeah. Want to say doing really hard work, electrical. Uh, shit. Yeah, dude. That's, that's another thing. It's so much easier. It's so much easier. I'll just <laughs> put it like this. I was making like eight hundred a week at my job. But mm-hmm. I'd probably get, like, three to five times more with OnlyFans. And you have a lot more free time and stuff? like. Yeah, like, for example, when could I ever sleep in to damn near six in the afternoon? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a pretty so, good yeah. deal if you can get it. <laughs> yeah, bro. Jeez. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. yeah. You mentioned working out. Like, how do you stay in the shape you're in? You're in pretty good shape. Yeah, I'm. I'm by no means big, but I try to just stay lean at least. Cause oh, I model as well. I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't. But, yeah. Okay. So I model, so I want to keep my waist thin and around one fifty ish, like one fifty five ish. Cause if I don't, all my all my sizes are gonna go up, and I can't really be doing that. What kind of tips would you give to somebody trying to get into shape like you are? Um, honestly, it has a lot to do with my metabolism. I do I do eat a lot, but I do watch my calories. So honestly, I would go on a website, search up your like your putting your height, your weight, and like what you want to be at, and just eat based on how you want to like your size, if that makes sense. <laughs> and obviously, lift. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, what I do is push, pull legs, push, pull legs. And that keeps me all right. No cardio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't ran since soccer, and I don't plan to. <laughs> yeah. You don't like it? Dude, running was the one thing that, like, made me not, like, want to do soccer forever. I hate running so much. 
<laughs> yeah. Um. So we'll get into girl stuff because the girls don't want to know. Do you have a girlfriend? No, not not at the moment. No. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any funny uh, breakup stories? Any crazy exes or anything? Yeah. Um. Damn, I don't know if I should talk about this because she's probably gonna see it. But so basically, I had this one girlfriend. I think I think I was. This was back at. This was around the time when I was like starting TikTok, I think. I, so I got this job like any other like teenager gets, like a shitty job, eight dollars an hour, just trying okay. to get like gas money or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, but yeah. Um, so I was working there for like a few months, I'd say, and and like I noticed that my manager is flirting with me, so I'm like, I'm like, hold up. So then I started, like, Snapchatting here. And as time goes on, like, after work, I'm like, I'm like, yo, let's go get Duncan by my house. The boy was pulling the manager. <laughs> so, yeah, and uh, that happens. And then we're chilling in Duncan. Uh, did she pay for me that time? I'm not sure, but I was, she was making a lot more money than me, at least. Cause, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we get Duncan. We're chilling in her car or my car. It was both. We did this like 10 times. I cannot tell you. Okay, routine. <laughs> Type shit. Something like that. <laughs> but, That's yeah. Getting the manager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Low key. But, so, yeah. Um, Time goes by. Dude, like, it felt like a movie. Like, almost. That sounds weird to say, but, dude, I did not expect it. Like, Like, if there was one thing I did not expect, it was that. We both like start getting closer and then boom, make out. So then, that was weird because of the age difference and whatnot. What was the age difference? Yeah, I'm not gonna be too specific again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's say. I love this guy. He's great. <laughs> He's crazy. I'm gonna give you like a time frame. So I was 16. Let's say he was 28. Damn, no, that crazy. Crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> let's just say she graduated. Like when I was a freshman. Okay, so like four yeah. years older. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like maybe when I was in eighth grade. I I can't do like that. 20? 21? Somebody's yeah. gonna be able like to do that. Like that, like that. That was perfect. That that like yeah, twenty one. Okay, twenty one and you're sixteen. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. I, I felt I felt like that guy, bro. The man with like the it. plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, year old at 21. <laughs> yeah, and then so, something leads like another, it. and we end up doing the dirty, you know, like, yeah. Yo, that was my first body, bro. That was, yeah, there you go. That's my how I lost my virginity, too. Yo, the stories keep coming, bro. The <laughs> yeah, it just keeps coming. adding on. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, we can't say your name. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Eddie, you're insane, my boy. You are crazy. Man, and I told this man, I'm like, do you have any stories or anything? He's like, I can't think of any. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, like we all the stories. So yeah, Yeah. um, what what's your type of girl? Like 10 years older and non (laughs) Yeah. Okay, so I do, I do like my older women. I'm not even gonna lie, I love them. Okay. I think max I would go is like, twenty nine. Twenty nine. Maybe thirty. Yo. Thirty five. That's. Thirty five. I think I'd go thirty five. Yeah. All right. Eighteen. Keep it fat, guys. He's eighteen. What is it about? <laughs> what is it about older women? I don't know. I really don't know. But like, okay. But aside from that, my type is. Definitely, I have to say, ah, oh, man, I don't know. I think definitely blondes for sure. I feel like you were a blonde type of girl. I like love, skinny. I love blondes, bro. Love them. Yeah, you're definitely like, I can see. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. You got some uh, tattoos. Oh yeah, um, um, yeah. So interesting story about them. I wasn't supposed to get tattoos, right? Even like if I was 18, but um. I, I held them away from my mom, like, for as long as I could. 
the last day before she moves, she sees him in the morning when I'm saying bye. Because I was just so tired, I didn't even bother to put a shirt on. But yeah, I, yeah, I was gonna make a video out of it too, like surprising her with tattoos. With my tattoos, yeah. <laughs> my whole life, you better not get a tattoo, or you're you're getting kicked out. This that you're getting kicked out, and I'm like, makes sense. But yeah, this was my first one. Was she mad? Oh, uh, dude, honestly, she didn't even care. She was so sad already. Like it just like she didn't like she just like bl- like blew it off. She didn't Did care. you get a video of it? No, I wanted to, dude. It was like three in the morning. I don't wake <laughs> up till like later. <laughs> like, yeah. Say that one again. Couldn't really see it. Oh yeah, I got you. Like so, what is it? It's Roman numerals. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's um September first, twenty twenty. What's the what's the significance of uh, that? for a passing of a family member? Oh. Yeah. And I got this arrow. This was kind of just impulsive. I just got it because why not? Yeah, that, I mean, it's, it looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, and I have one more, but we don't talk about it. <laughs> Yo, what, the, what, is, what do you mean we don't talk about it? That makes us want to talk about it. <laughs> all right, all right. So, all right, we don't need to see it because what? No, nah, yeah, 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 you won't see it. No way, not on the podcast, but all right, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. So my ex, my girlfriend at the time, or my ex girlfriend. I obviously I'm I'm never gonna get a tattoo of a girl's name or anything. You or got like, an initial. All right, but here, hear me no out. No way. I was like, got an initial. I, I forgot what she had on the line. She had something funny on the line. So I was like, I was like, yo, you beat me three times in eight ball, and I'll get I'll get your initials and your and your sports uh, number on my ass, and she beat me. I don't know how. So yeah, oh, I have it like, right here on like, like under my waistline. <laughs> Yo. So well, what is it? What? Her it? her initials and then her uh, sports number. That's, that's hilarious. That, that's, <laughs> yeah, I need to get it. Like I need to get something over it. But then at the same time, it's on my ass. So it's like, what's the point? Hey, respect. You said you would do it, and you did it. Yeah, man. That's, I wear. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, I got it the same day as this, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, you just, <laughs> you just went right. crazy with it. Wow, right. that that must have been hard to hide from your mom, though. What? Oh, the chest one? The No, the arm one. Like, you have oh, to wear okay. shoes and shit around so, her. I got this after they moved, actually. Oh, okay. But this one, the cheek dude, one. Well, the cheek one. <laughs> she doesn't know, bro. She doesn't know. <laughs> Well, she'll probably know after watching this. I'm not gonna lie, but oh, you crazy, yo. Yeah. All right, but uh, yeah, the chest one, bro, that was terrible. There was two straight months of me having to like every time I hopped out the shower, like I had to wear like a towel over like right here, and I would cover it, and like I would never. I used to always be shirtless around here, but when I had the tattoo, like never, not once, ever. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Wow. What's some of your uh, hobbies? Um. Honestly, lately, I haven't been doing much, like, sports-wise and anything, really. I just, I've just been focusing on, like, doing my thing, like, like, trying to save up money, get a house. I mean, I bought my own car. I mean, like, yeah, my first car under my name, uh, 2017 Mustang. So, yeah, um, I'm working to get that paid off. I want to, I want to get a house or at least a house soon. And, um, but yeah, I used to play soccer. I still do for fun and I work out like every day and yeah, I really like working out. It, not even cause it like, it, it'll make me like look bigger or whatever. It just, it, it helps me clear my head and shit, you know? Mm-hmm. So yeah. Like, 17 Mustangs a pretty good first car. No, nah, that's like my fifth. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think <think's> first. <laughs> Nah, yeah. Well, before that, I actually bought my own car as well, but I sold that one because I didn't like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was a it was a two thousand six uh three fifty Z. I don't know if y'all know what that is. Yeah, three fifty Z. Yeah, they're they're nice. Those are nice. How do you not like that? I don't. I didn't like it. I wanted something new. But it's only a two seater. Yeah, that too. A little hatchback. Random questions. Uh, what's what do you spend the most money on? Oh, <laughs> um, let's see. Either, see, I should be way more, I should be way better with my money, but, um, my car, 
probably shouldn't have gotten a new car when I already had one. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. The club. Um. What else? Close. Close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking food. I'm like a lot. Food. Never mind. Yeah, food. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, food's it for me too. That's where all the <laughs> yeah. money goes for me too. Yeah. yeah, I don't even DoorDash though, so it's like I save a little bit there, I guess. But they yeah, always eating out. Yeah, eating like three times a day out, bro. That's like that adds up like forty dollars like every day, every day, every day. Yeah, yeah that's mine's strictly DoorDash all the time. Hell, yeah. that shit's that shit's crazy. It's like, dude. I've door dashed like once and it was like like fifty bucks for like some Dave's hot chicken in LA. I was like, what? Like, it was like crazy. Yo, so crazy. Drew, have you tried Dave's hot chicken? Yes, bro. You need to try oh, it. Dude, it's fire. So good. They don't they- have one where you live though, probably. Yeah. But- <laughs> where where are you from? I'm in Kansas City, Missouri. Oh, that's like kind of random. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Not but yeah, they had just recently opened a Dave's Hot Chicken where I'm from, so that was a plus side. Nice. That's funny. Yeah. That's kind of random. <laughs> it totally is. Wait, is it in those states where, like, you know, like, I always see those pictures and TikToks where, like, who lives in these states? It's, like, where Washington is, like, on the top, like, it, or is it near Wisconsin? It's not near Wisconsin, right? It's near, it's, like, near Illinois. and like Really? I couldn't tell you where that is. Honestly, <laughs> like it's like oh, not very far from Illinois. Okay, it borders it. <laughs> um, let's see. What's something you couldn't live without? I couldn't live without my phone for sure. <laughs> Other than my phone, probably my dog. Okay. Okay. Uh, pessimist, optimist, or realist? You have to like define those <laughs> negative positive or realistic um i'd like to say i'm realistic but yes. i'd like to say i'm between positive and realistic here's mark question he asked me the other day uh one million dollars or a 50 percent shot at a billion dollars 50 percent shot at a billion dollars yo sure. y'all are crazy sure. the risk taker <laughs> bro like think about it like <clears throat> A million dollars is a lot, but it's like, is it enough? No. One billion dollars, like, if you win it, you're set forever. I had a funny one. It's just a joke. But <laughs> as a uh, kill, marry, or date, and you just I met Mark, so he might be killed, but Luigi, <laughs> Diego. <Yo>. Oh. <laughs> I have to, Don't I worry, have I won't to. take offense. I won't take offense. I'd rather pick the boys. <laughs> People even up longer. Damn. Which one do you kill? No, I, I'm definitely marrying my boy Luigi. That's my dog. Oh, okay, you have to. You have to. Gotta marry Luigi. That's my boy. But definitely De- Diego because I've known him longer by like a week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no offense, Mark. Sorry, my boy. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll try to revive you, but I, I'm not, like, my bad. Yeah, just pick up my reboot card. <laughs> be good. No cap. How'd you meet Luigi? Oh, actually, I met him out in L.A. Oh, yeah. This was, I want to say, like, summer of 2021, maybe. Yeah. Like, two years ago. No, yeah. So, it actually happened completely by accident. So, we were just at, like, the same place at the same time. And we just started talking. And we were, like, I was, like, damn, he's pretty chill or whatever. So, we just, me, him, Kevin, and this other kid that we don't talk about anymore. We all we all just went to Chick-fil-A and we were chilling and stuff. Hmm. And... Then went to a party and we kind of all just hit it off. And then, um, me and Kevin ended up sleeping where Luigi was sleep or staying. And then one day turned into like three days. Three days turned into like a week. <laughs> and then before you know it, we were there for like almost two months. <laughs> and then yeah, that's how we're boys now, I guess. Okay, well I gotta ask because you, uh, I gotta try to get a story out of you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so who's the person that we don't talk about anymore? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> all right so basically um this kid freak what was his name his name was bliss um he was this kid out in la like he wasn't like he was chill he was all right but it, he just moved really weird 
like he would so me and Luigi we were just chilling on the couch one day and um he noticed that Trippy or Trippy is like Trippy Bliss or some shit. He posted on Instagram and he was like he was he was going through his likes and he was like, Yo, he was like, Yo, all of these people are on follow back. So then you can just see what he was doing from there. He was literally just going to Luigi's following. Follow, 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 follow. And then unfollowing him. We literally caught him. Like it was so bad. Wait, so he was following like all of Luigi's recent followers? Or- yeah, so he was like stealing actives basically. Dude, we just caught him. Like he was probably doing it to all of us, but it was just weird. But he, we had caught him. He had like he was only following a few hundred. And then mm-hmm. dude, like like out of nowhere we saw him follow like a thousand or some shit. And then it like dropped back down in like an hour. Bro it was weird. Very weird. When did your social media stuff start taking off and like how did you notice it and like you know, how did that how the whole story, you know, like how did that happen and um Actually, I never intended to, I never wanted to do social media. Like, to be honest, like everyone else at a certain point, I was like, yo, that shit's crazy. You know? Like, but um, I started, when I was, think I was 15, turning 16. Um, okay. So I think, I think I saw this one kid at my school, um, like blowing up. He had like 60K, like max or something at, on TikTok or something. And I was like, I was like, holy shit, dude. Like, that looks like fun. But obviously, I didn't say that out loud because it was such like it was a forbidden thing to like even have TikTok downloaded. To even have it downloaded, yeah. right? I, I got caught having it downloaded, bro. I got crucified, bro. Where at school? But anyways, um, so yeah, I saw he was like doing good and or whatever, and um, I didn't do anything really. I just watched TikToks. I was like, shit, that'd be dope if I could do TikTok or whatever. And then months go by the summer of the summer of COVID. So like after COVID, um, the summer came up. I met I, I knew some friends and they introduced me to the, to this kid. And he he wasn't doing social media yet, but he had hopped on like like a few months after. And then after that, like I hung out with him one time. And then he introduced me to like a bunch of other of his friends. There was like six of them. So then there was seven with me. And then we all just started doing TikTok and kind of just, like, we're gaining a lot, like, real fast. And that's when I was like, oh, shit, like, this is cool, you know? Uh, best and worst thing about having a huge social media following. So, like, the worst, like, the bad part would probably be, like, you never know who is real, like, who's you talking to you for your numbers or who's just wants to be your friend. And the best part is definitely just knowing that there's people supporting you. Or, like, you post on your story something that you aren't, like, sure about. And you, you see all the people, like, responding and shit. Like, damn, that's fire. You're, you're looking good, you know? You always got people, like, supporting you. Like, yeah. following your stuff. Yeah, that was fire responses. I like that. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's a struggle that you've overcome? Because you always see the positive on social media and stuff. You never really see that kind of stuff. Yeah. So... <laughs> A struggle was really my my body. I was so, like, like I don't care about, like, if I'm skinny or not. But, dude, I was so, like, malnourished. Like, I looked so malnourished. It was bad. Mm-hmm. Like, <clears throat> like, I was almost, like, I wouldn't eat. So, I looked, like, almost, like, like if I just didn't eat, really. Like, my, the color of my skin, I felt like, was different. I wasn't, like, doing anything. And it just made me feel really shitty. Like, when I played sports, I'd get thrown around. Like, I'd be, like, the second string. I Like, not that I wasn't good, but I'd be the second string because of how, like, small I was. And, and yeah. yeah. How'd you turn that around? Just started working out and stuff? Yeah, and get, got became more confident. And that's where social media helped me, actually. And mm-hmm. I still struggle with this a lot. Like, Like, for example, I'll post the pictures that I look the best in at the gym. But, like, in reality, I'll take other pictures, and I'm like, damn, bro, I really look like that? Like, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm like, being insecure about my body and stuff. Which is crazy, because if I was in the shape you're in, that'd, that'd be the best shape of my life. <laughs> <laughs> what you thinking? No, but, um, yeah. Something that you've learned in the last year or two? Getting better at knowing who's who likes you for you. Yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 Um, what's some goals that you have for the future, long-term and short-term? 
Uh, I want to be able to buy my mom a piece of land because that's mm. what I'm really into. But that's my like personal goal. Yeah. Not even a house because a house long term isn't going to do them much. Like I, aside from them like living there, obviously. But like with land, I know what they like to do, like build on it. And that's saving them a lot of money and passive income throughout the time whenever they build on it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Your answer is you're really well spoken, like you know, and like, <laughs> like wow, good. Not for, yeah. real. for real. <laughs> what are uh, what uh, kind of Christmas plans do you have coming up? Mm, I was gonna go to um, Mexico, but I waited way too long, and the flights are like eleven hundred now. And I'm like, do I want to drop eleven mm. hundred or do I want to just use that on their presents? You know? Yeah. So eleven hundred is crazy for a flight. I'm not gonna lie. It's very but, I was planning on, damn, well, I had a plan, but I actually forgot it. Uh, what was I planning on? I was probably just going to go to my friend's house or something. Yeah, that's basically it. Okay, oh, okay. wait, what day is Christmas? 25th. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I was probably just going to spend it with, like, cousins or, like, family members or something okay. in North Carolina. Uh, we were going to, I was going to plug everybody's social media, but. Dude, you came on point with this light. The earrings. Oh, <laughs> this look yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah, I did this one this myself. Do what? Do you yourself? I did this one, the second one, myself and my friend's YouTube video at a gas station. At a gas station? What? Yeah, so I had, like, the extra earring in my car. And it was yeah. a, the dull end. It didn't even have the sharp end. So I was like, I was like, yo, this this for your YouTube video. So he started recording, and I, like, punctured my ear. Like I like, like poked it in, dude. I was sitting there for like in his passenger seat. I was like pushing it in for like a minute. I was like about to pass out because I wasn't breathing. Oh my, it hurts yeah. too. Like I can imagine that <laughs> pushing it in. Like it's not even like a just like it wasn't even sharp. No, hey, dude, it hurts so bad. It hurts yeah. so bad. crazy. Yeah, dude, you got this crazy stuff going. Why don't you have like you have any videos on your YouTube? It's just like. Dude, like, it's just, like, I think that's another thing. I, th- my surrounding and, like, everyone, uh, like, people I'm with, they're just, like, more of the wake up, go to school, or wake up, go to work. And I don't want that stuff, you know? Yeah. Like, I want a different route more than just the the traditional nine to five, get good money. It's, like, doesn't matter. I just don't want to do that. I don't know. Instagram for <laughs> the podcast. Oh, yeah, make sure to follow. Podcast. It's been in my podcast. thing the entire time. I want people to start following it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And make sure the most important thing is subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Right, right. Yeah, subscribe. Come on, right now. You have more than we do, and you don't even have any videos on your. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't, um, I haven't posted. I got Mark's Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, yeah, my gummies. Three Z's. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you a follow after too. Yeah, yeah, I'll follow you back, Eddie. Got you. Love Eddie. I got Eddie's TikTok. It's Eddie, love Eddie. Follow. Okay, okay. And I got your Instagram, Eddie. Go follow that like the recent just posted a few days ago. Okay, okay. <laughs> there we go. You don't have any YouTube videos, but you got a channel. I'll put that in the bio yeah. too. Yeah. I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. What is it, Eddie Lila or something? I think I think it's Eddie X Lila. I think so. Yeah, probably. Something like that. Uh, one last uh, message for your supporters, something you'd like to tell them for uh, all um, the to give you? Uh, just want to say thank you, and make sure you always know who your real friends are and who they are. That's it. Cool. Thanks for coming on. You've been... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no. could, Eddie. You could. Thank, thank you guys so much for having me on.